Now, the governor is also calling for $195 million to help fix Flint's problems. That's on top of the tens of million already approved. But do people in Flint think he's done enough? Ronnie Duncan has that now. Some say the water crisis issue in Flint is going down the wrong road. We've heard a lot of rhetoric when it comes to dollars, but people simply want to see action. And the question is whether or not they have the patience to wait. Yes, I am annoyed about it, but you know what we do have to keep it in God's hands. The power of prayer and patience was on full display at Greater Hope Temple as another water distribution was taking place. Still, for many residents of Flint, broken promises by Governor Snyder and others are like broken pipe dreams flooded in an ocean of despair. As a resident of Flint, I mean, how are you dealing with this? I mean, they ask you to be patient. They keep talking about money. Have you seen any action? I haven't seen nothing. Not yet. Joe Kuhn, like so many that I spoke with today, simply are waiting for action instead of hearing talk. Sure, they know about the nearly $2 million the governor is proposing, but they say enough lip service. They want to see some action in pipe digging. The high, people that hire officials, I think they should be doing more than what they are doing. I'm kind of disgusted uh, with the leaders, you know, that they haven't stepped in and did more what they have. And back over at Greater Holy Temple, Bishop Roger Jones offered these words of encouragement. Yes, I have a lot of patience plus hope. And I believe without hope, you have absolutely nothing. Patience and prayer, what some people think will be the bridge over troubled water for Flint, Michigan. In Flint downtown, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM TV5.